Hey everyone, I've got a Dante audio interface here from a company called Ben and Fellows, model number 521017, that I wanted to do a quick review on, share my thoughts about it. So I've been looking for a relatively low cost Dante audio interface for a while. At this point, I do audio over Dante almost exclusively. I almost don't use anything else anymore. And the downside to that is this Dante equipment can be kind of expensive. So I've been looking for something that was kind of low cost and would allow me to get audio in and out of my Dante network. And I stumbled across this thing on Amazon. So this is, again, the Bennett Fellows 5.2, this, this is 5.2.0, but it's actually 5.2.1.0.1.7. So this has four channels in, four channels out, converts your audio to and from Dante. It's relatively low cost, and this uh, it's actually $199. You can see that here. And it's also available on some other sites as well. So here it is on AliExpress. A little more expensive there, but it's the same unit. Uh, this appears to be either a Chinese company or a company that imports from China. A company here in the U.S. imports from China uh, and then, then sells to here in the United States. So uh, I got pretty excited when I saw a relatively low cost unit. So... Take a look at the physical connections on it. On the one side, we have Phoenix connector, so four inputs, four outputs. Those are all balanced. And then on the reverse side, we have our network connection, the Ethernet, and the 12-volt power input. It does come with the power adapter. The, the casing is, that's metal, so it's pretty strong. And it's got a nice solid plastic on the ends there. So in terms of build quality, I'm actually fairly happy with it. It does feel like it's fairly well made. Well, one of the downsides we want to, I want to talk about right at first is that there are no level controls for the inputs. So if we look at the Amazon webpage for this unit, it actually says that it has four balanced mic and aux inputs. I, they mean line, but that is either not true or they don't provide the software in order to control it. When I received this, it actually came with a card that had links for software to control other units in their product line, but not this one. When I emailed about them, and when I emailed them about it, they just sent me links to the Audinate Dante controller software and not any software that's specific to this unit for controlling levels. It's one of the downsides of the Dante protocol is it doesn't have anything built into it and knows to control uh, audio levels. So you're left to other software to make that happen. In this case, uh, either, either it doesn't exist or the manufacturer wouldn't provide it, either one. Uh, so I contacted them directly via email. I also contacted them through Amazon. And in case of email, they never wrote back. And on Amazon, they said they'd send me the software. And the software that they sent me was just the generic uh, Audinate software that you can download directly from the Audinate website. Uh, next thing, audio quality. It's decent, but not great. I'm going to play... A little bit of audio for you here. So what we have here is audio sent out from the computer. I'm using one of the AVIO units from Audinate, and it's going into directly into my mixer. I'm using the TF3 here, so that's on channels 25 and 26. And then that same audio is being sent to my Ben and Fellows unit. So this, I, I, right now, I, I'm calling it the DJP trailer rack, because that's where it's intended to go. So I have the audio from the computer routed in, into channels one and two on that unit. And then on the unit itself, I have outputs 1 and 2 routed back into inputs 1 and 2. So it's just a straight connection. And then the inputs from that unit are being routed to channels 27 and 28 on my TF3 mixer. Now if we take a look at the mixer, we can see channels 25, 26, 27, and 28. So 25 and 26 are direct audio, so I'm going to go ahead and play some, play some music there. So you'll see the level meters there. And then you look at the level meters for 27 and 28, which is the audio coming out of this Ben and Fellows unit, and it's quite a bit quieter. So you notice that 25 and 26, the input level is minus 12 decibels, and then on 27 and 28, it's uh, minus 4 decibels, so 8 decibels louder. So I had to boost the audio coming from this unit by 8 decibels in order to make it match. Now I'm going to let the audio play for a minute. I'm going to switch back and forth between the audio from the Ben and Fellows on 27 and 28 and the direct audio on 26, 25 and 26. And when both of them are live, you're going to hear a little bit of face a cancellation. I ignore that. Just uh, listen to when a single source is on. This is direct.
the audio quality on the unit is actually not too bad. I, I do. I mean, I'm picking up some loss in some of the really low frequencies, and the highs aren't quite as transparent, uh, not quite as open as the direct feed. But the audio quality is really not terrible. It's it's okay. It's just passable. It would it work for most most applications, and most people would never know the difference. Uh, however, there is one issue with this unit that makes me basically say don't buy it, and that is. After some period of time of being turned on, it actually just drops off the network entirely. So the amount of time seems to vary, but in my experience, I've had it last for as long as an hour and other times cut off in 20 minutes. And it doesn't matter which port I try on my switch, what cable I use, whatever, it always does it. So after some relatively short period of time, it just cuts out and doesn't work anymore. So basically... I can't recommend this unit. It because because of the audio uh, dropping out, it just it's unreliable. So uh, that better there's better ways to spend your money. So what I would recommend for someone who's looking for something that's kind of sort of in this price range is using the AVIO adapters that are from Audinate themselves. So I've got a couple of them here. Uh, this one is two channel analog input, and this one two channel analog output. Uh, the downside of these is, is they do require phantom power from your network switch in order to operate. They don't have power supply, so they're they can only be powered by phantom power. And uh, so that you'll need to either get a switch that has power over Ethernet or uh, get a power over Ethernet injector. Uh, the price per channel on these is higher than it is on this. These units are about $129 a piece. So if you were to get four channels... Uh, in and out, you'd need a total of four units, so you're looking $600 in that ballpark as it versus the 199 of this unit. So there it is, the Ben and Fellows 521017 four-channel audio interface. I can't recommend this thing. It's kind of a waste of money. So I'm un totally unreliable in my opinion and not worth owning. So if you guys have any questions about this or any audio or radio production related questions that I can answer quickly, please uh, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll try and answer those as best I can. But do please uh, try to keep the questions short and simple for me to answer. I do have a lot going on and don't have a ton of time to do research for, for other people. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do content related to video production about once a week. I've got a lot of cool videos coming up, uh, some already in production, and I'd love for you guys to see those. So if you're in the video production market or other production, audio production, whatever, please check, take a quick look at my crewaxis.com website URL for that down below. It's there to help you run your business. So it keeps track of your events, keeps track of your crew, keeps track of your equipment. And most recently, I've added some features in order to make it easy to collaborate with your clients as well to make sure that you know exactly what their needs are going to be and that you can make sure that you're going to show up with all the equipment that you need and that you're going to be prepared for all the events that you're working. So thanks, guys, for watching and have a fantastic day.